So as we jump down in here into the, the Batmobile without dying, you guys may be familiar with the red light district. So that's apparently came from the railroad workers, which is what this is, where we're going. Uh, the red light meant there was ladies inside. So that's where the red light came from. So we're gonna go look at some bordellos. Whew. Got the drone, has a separate little charger in here. A bordello is, I guess, what you would call OnlyFans today. But a bordello, uh, women actually touched you and performed. So, take a little look at old history over here. Uh, OnlyFans is uh, the dumbest thing you could do in your life. Hey, don't ever support it. Men are making that possible. A bordello, I didn't know what the hell it was, so that's why I decided to make this video on it. Because why not? It's entertaining, and I thought it was interesting. So yeah, let's head on over to, uh, I guess it's just called Superstition Mountains. So I hope you guys enjoyed that little drone flyby here of this little uh, gold mining town right outside of Phoenix. This is called uh, the Superstition Mountains. So as the title of this video would uh, suggest, I decided to do a little history here. 100 years ago, it's called a bordello versus OnlyFans. OnlyFans is no different. Women have been selling the one thing that they provide for hundreds of years. Oh, this is all chained up. So here's what it'd be like going up here to the top of it. I guess you just go quite with it. And then you walk right up in here. So for those of you that don't know, Bordello is basically a prostitution. This is where they would come and women would service men uh, that were out here mining for, for gold. And apparently, I took the tour on this a little while ago. Uh, for every 50 miners or 100 miners, there'd be like one decent woman. There was one decent woman to every 50 men. One decent woman, okay? So there was a lot of men around here. Yeah. <laughs> so the miners worked from sun up to sun down. They made about three to four dollars a day and what they didn't spend on their tent and their food, they'd come and join our hurdy-gurdy girls here. Now, a hurdy-gurdy hurdy -gurdy is a little um, organ that they used to play. And they used to dance to this little organ. Most of these women were contracted from Germany, Already. from Germany. Uh, they would be in a troop and they would go from town to town, from here to Tombstone to wherever. So, you know, they'd stay a little while, dance, have a good time, and then they'd leave. So, being out here in the middle of uh, gold mining country, uh, men, unfortunately, the one thing that they want to do, they, they had no access to it. Uh, you were just designed that way by nature. So, just like what they're real good at extorting, uh, they're not inventing anything like wheels, automobiles airplanes electric 
They're extreme men for sex. And this was the biggest building here uh, that you're looking at. And the story behind it's really interesting. Uh, I'll clip that in for you guys right now. So if it wasn't our hurdy gurdy girls here, it would be our saloon girls. And saloon girls did the same thing. They danced and they had a good time. I think the saloon girls went a little bit farther, further with the prostitution than, this, than the hurdy gurdy mm -hmm. girls. But same kind of a thing. They danced, partied, and saloons. Okay? Now, if a gentleman wanted something a little bit different and a little bit, he had money, he would talk to the bartender and he'd be introduced to one of these girls up here. These okay. are brothel girls. Okay? Now, the brothel girls, as you can see, were a lot cleaner, but one thing about the brothel girls, they were literate. They could read and write. Most of the men came here thinking that they were going to make a whole bunch of money in the mines, and they ended up working in the mines, not making mm -hmm. a whole bunch of money. So they had to write home to their families. These women could do that. They also could sew a button on your shirt. They also could read you a poem. So they had the soft side to them, and then they had the other side to them. So basically what would happen here, a gentleman would walk in here with a two-cent coin. Him and Madame, or Madame right there, Miss Martha, mm -hmm. they would, they would, um, he would be given a menu, and on that menu he would decide what he wanted, either the hard side, soft side, hard and soft together. It's just whatever the gentleman wanted. Okay, so that's kind of how it was run up here. All right? Mm -hmm. Now, we did have three known cribs below. A crib was basically the women lived among the men down there. She had her name on the door, she had a bed in there, and she had something to wash herself, a wash tub. She would service maybe 50 to 100 men on a, on a payday. Um, hats and boots, hats were optional, pants and boots were not optional. So she worked in a lot of volume. Okay, she made about two, 25 cents to a dollar and was run by a pimp. So that's kind of the different layers we had. And then we did have street walkers too. Okay? Mm -hmm. And please join the room in there, take your camera in there. Okay. That's supposed to be the highly um, uh, kind of a haunted room, if you want to say. Okay. Um, you can see the size of Brazier there, sir. Most of the women were about 5'5 five, five and weighed over 200 pounds. Uh, the madam mm -hmm. liked the women big because. Uh, if they were big, they probably were not diseased. They probably had not contacted syphilis or any other things that the crib girls did and a lot of people had. So she kept them good and healthy. Uh, you see there's no windows. You can pan mm -hmm. that in because mm -hmm. uh, you didn't want, she didn't want any miners coming in here that didn't have any money to pay for her, their services. Okay? That's kind of what and this, this was. was uh, that was a toilet. The, the toilet, yeah. toilets. <laughs> now they had money. Wherever you had money, you had toilets. All right. Okay? Mm -hmm. And, uh, yeah, that's probably about everything in this room. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And we had seven below, that's what I was going to say. We had seven rooms seven below. Seven rooms below. It's a hat shop now, but it would be just similar to that room now. Okay, this is our madame's room. This would be her beautiful room right here. She did mm -hmm. allow the miners to come in and have a bath there, but, uh, oh, this is cool. you know, they, that's pretty much all they could afford in here. Um, she did have a special lady that she would be training to do her job because the madam's goal was always to go out there and get a ranch somewhere and, and get out of this business. So she always had somebody learning her job. Uh, miners wore their clothes till they fell off. So I believe that's probably when they came in and got a bath. That is a copper bathtub right out of our mines. They believe back in 1893 that copper would kill any kind of disease. And they were right. Copper is antibacterial. So, they were right. <laughs> so the first miner of the day would come in. The children of the house would fill this up with hot water. He would jump in. And as the miners kept coming in, the water would get cheaper and cheaper until about 10 to 15 miners had a bath. Same water. Same water. Oh. <laughs> yep, just add a little hot water to it. Mm -hmm. Until it was so disgusting, I'm sure, that the, they couldn't do any more. So the children would throw it out the window. And that's why we seem to think that the cowboys have brims on the side of their hats because you never knew mm -hmm. what they were throwing down the window besides mm -hmm. the tree was going down too. So just something we, we figured, you know. Anyway, a little X-rated stuff is okay? Yeah, sure. Okay, this is our Peter Pan jar. Every woman had one of those in her room, and when that man was going to do that special service, she would basically put alcohol and water in that, unbeknownst to the gentleman. Mm -hmm. And when they were ready to do it, she would wash him down with that. And if he started to scream and holler, he would be escorted out and not get his money back. The women became experts. At looking at different sores, diseases, For diseases, and of course. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Wonder how many bodies they're going to pull out of that thing today. Every time they get out that thing out there, they're pulling bodies out of it. 
Oh, yeah? There's a graveyard down there. The whole place is a graveyard. Really? Every time they dig something, they can find bodies. So the women would, would use copper or another type of a coin for contraception. Another jar would be put in their room, and when the jar was full, all the madam would get all the jars together, and uh, she would escort, she would get in her carriage and take it up to the town up there, and that's what we call dirty money. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so let me tell you about a shot glass. All right. This would this wouldn't happen up here, but it would happen in one of your saloons across the street up there. Gentleman miner would walk in. I don't have any money. I spent it all with the girls. Okay, what do you got? My bullets. So the bartender would line it up there, and he'd probably get his cheapest whiskey that he had down there, or watered down whiskey. He'd line it up to here and line it up to here. Give him two cents for this bullet. Five cents for this bullet, and if he wasn't in need of this for his 45, he'd sell this for about 10 to 12 cents. So that's for a shot for a bullet. That's where shot glass comes from. Ooh. From the Western days, that is. Well, I did. All right. All right. Yeah. So anyway, any questions? No, no. This Please was look around. We got some stuff from Tombstone. These are original badges from Tombstone. So oh, really? Your camera would like that. I like to think Wyatt Earp wore that. We have some for sale here. Here's some dirty stamps here. Not so much. Um, coins, not so much from our brothel, but if you read some of them, that's different brothels with, that have they did the, the coin thing. Like I said, you walk up with a two cent coin, and that's how they, right. they get it. Anyway, when you leave, mm -hmm. please give Miss Martha a hug, and you want to tip your floozy, that's fine. Sign our guest book, and thank right. you. Thank, and please no, thank keep you. going around. Thank with you. It. Yeah, right. I hope you enjoyed that. Enjoy. Thank you.